Jones getting close. Uh, how are you feeling? Yeah, it's really exciting for the girls. It's really good to be here today as well. But um, yeah, really happy with our preparation over the pre season and certainly not long now until round one. Can we expect bigger things from Freo this season? Yeah, we're certainly expecting improvement from the from the group and uh, we've already seen that through the way that they've applied themselves through the through the pre-season, which uh, as a coaching group and, and a high performance group, we've been really happy with to date, but uh, still a bit of work to do, and but looking forward to it. How do you prepare the ladies for playing in this? Yeah, we'll get an opportunity to bring the team here a little bit earlier and, and have a bit of a walk through and maybe a bit of a kick on the, on the oval as well. But um, look, they're, they're all really prepared for that opportunity. They're excited about the opportunity and um, looking forward to that on, on Feb 10. It's, a, it's an incredible facility and it's an amazing opportunity for these two girls as well as everyone else. Michelle, this is the first time the girls and yourself will coach and play out here. How many, how many seats can you fill from on seats come to? Yeah, I, I think uh, our supporters will really rally around this. Uh, uh, rallying around the girls, um, you know, they've got incredible support from our members and and I guess even uh, the broader sporting community as well. Um, but yeah, just from to get a look at the facility, maybe our members to sit in their membership seats and uh, the club will make a real day of it with the boys training earlier as well and uh, a bit of a family fun day to it as well. And then uh, to sit back and watch the girls play against Collingwood will, will be a great day. Would you like to see a, see a purple or a purple haze out here? Yeah, we had that at Fremantle Oval for, for last season, which was really good, and it'll be great to see see full capacity here. Um, this stadium is incredible. I had the opportunity to be here uh, earlier through the construction phase as well, have a look at it, and it's absolutely mind-blowing. And um, to get the opportunity for women's sport and first AFL game to be playing out there, it certainly is a special day. Yes, Amy and Kelly, I guess it's a bit of a change of scenery from Fremantle Oval. You know, Fremantle Oval, we trained there last year, but training at Coburn with the fantastic facilities we have at Coburn and, and transferring them over to here, I think we'll do quite well. And uh, we're really looking forward to the challenge and looking forward to, to being part of this. And this brand, brand new stadium is amazing. So, yeah. Kelly, you got to play on the biggest stage with Adelaide last season. Um, how does this compare? Oh, it's, it's pretty enormous. Um, you know, it just keeps getting better and better every year. So I'm definitely looking forward to it. And, um, yeah, I just can't wait to have a kick out here. It's going to be pretty fun. How do you compare the pre-season and Adelaide? We've seen this time round of Freo. Oh, look, it's, it's pretty much the same. You know, all the girls are elite and trying to hit that standard. And, um, yeah, it's great to be back home playing with Freo. And I'm really looking forward to the season. It's, uh, it's a great sport to be a part of. And I'm, I'm really glad to be here in the purple. How do you feel? about uh, playing the possibility of playing in this stadium compared to the grounds you would have been at last year. Yeah, look, this is this is massive. This is a great ground and, um, you know, you've got to be here to see it. And, um, yeah, it's just an amazing stadium and it's going to be pretty wild. What do you think of the uh, change room and the, the facilities I think you saw for the first time today? Yeah, well, I think I've been lost like three times already. So <laughs> <laughs> it's great to have our own um, facility as well just down there and uh, our own change rooms. And, um, yeah, it's great to be a part of this. And like I said, you've got to be here to be able to witness it. It's still very exciting. It's still unpredictable. We don't know what's going to happen in season 2018, and um, I think that's the most exciting part about it. Um, you know, the girls are really excited to get get on with the season, and um, yeah, just have a kick. In country WA, the AFLW league's kind of taken off pretty big as well. I think we've got two extra teams from the Southwest Women's League. Um, how does it feel, I guess, knowing that you've got players from across the state watching you guys, knowing that there's an option now for them? Yeah, it's great. You know, um, the sport's growing here in Western Australia and across Australia as well. So um, giving girls the opportunity to play footy um, down south, up north and over in the east as well. So it's great to have the, uh, the opportunity for girls to all, all, all ages to be able to play footy. So um, it's a growing sport and I'm absolutely loving it. What sort of stuff do you pick up from Aaron Phillips heading into this pre-season? Are you going to take any of that from her? <laughs> Sorry, what was that? Uh, heading into this season <coughs> with Adam Puff being that way, what sort of stuff did you take from Aaron Phillips? With her. Yeah, she's she's an elite footballer and an elite athlete um, in general. So um, she's very well grounded and um, just a great person um, just to be around in general. So um, yeah, she's a great athlete and you know she's just a great person. So if she just goes about her football really well and hopefully we can um, bring that elite over here to um, uh, Freo. Amy, uh, goals were a bit of an issue last season. You, you were the team that 
team in general got a few more in you 2018? Uh, definitely, yeah. Like We're really excited and, and working really well as a forward unit. Um, we've obviously we looked at things last year that we probably could fix and um, we've worked really hard in the pre-season um, to atone for that and we're ready to go. Kelly helping in that area? Uh, definitely. She, she's moving around. Um, she's working in all areas of the ground, So, but it's really good to have her up forward and her experience and um, help lead the team, especially in the forward line. How's Kiara? How's looking? Uh, she's looking really well. Yeah, she's working hard on her rehab and working really hard to get back, and she's always part of the team, and she's always um, a really, really integral part of our team.